So guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today I've got my MX-5 back in the unit and I'm gonna be installing some wheel spacers as I bought some rotor alloys not too long ago but got the specs completely wrong. So we're gonna space those out. Um, I've also got a new uh, front caliper which I'm gonna be fitting as one of mine is currently seized and some coilover socks to protect my new HSD Monopros as well. So let's get her in the air. So I have uh, just jacked up the car um, and got a couple of access stands underneath the uh, front subframe. So now I'm just gonna whip off both front wheels and then I'm hoping with the clearance of the spacer and um, the rotors have like a little cutout in the back of them, I hope we won't have to cut any studs. So that could be fun. It won't be fun. So. Here. These indents may save my life. They might that might save me a whole world of hurt. Um, so these are um, rotor grids, 15 inch by seven J ET40. So these are 20 mil spacers, hub centric and they are made by Just Performance. Make quite a lot of MX-5 parts. So hopefully they should be quite a good fit. Whoa. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the one loose um, and then check that the wheel actually, I think it will clear the studs. Yes. Well, hey. Excellent. It's on. That's made our life a lot easier. Mr. Angle Grinder will not come to play. So, as I mentioned about brake caliper, I've been having this issue the last couple of days where um, you hit like 50 and the front of the car's like shaking like crazy, which was quite concerning. Um, I thought we might be tracking at first, but um, I mean that is <laughs> So I'm also, whilst we've got the car in the air, I'm also going to adjust my coilovers a little bit higher as um, I think the wheels will catch and I can't actually really drive the car anywhere within the UK because it's too low. So we're just going to adjust the coilovers. Um, I'm going to measure, take a reference point from say like somewhere on the hub to the to the arch and measure both places the same side and then I can set them to the same height that way. Um, so yeah, two C spanners, a couple collars, hopefully nothing seized. That's the front and I want to write things down because I've got a memory like a goldfish. <laughs> Which is probably why the numbers were the same when I did it last time. <laughs> so, put that in there. So that is 30, 31 point, probably 30, 318 millimeters. One's three, two, three, two, four. Okay. This side is higher than the other side. Then I'm going to pop these coilover socks. Next, we'll need to sort out my 
cap up on this side. So, so we'll crack on with that, shall we? Right, so that's the bottom bolt. Of course, and it's also the slide pin as well. So we'll put that in there. Like so. Hopefully seal it for the minute. Can I get the torques back? And to explain what the problem no, I is. I want to figure out what the f are done. Unfortunately, Eurocar Parts has f***ed me once again. Um, so it looks like they have supplied a caliper for a Mark 1, 1 1.6, not a Mark 2. And that means they, um, the slider pins, they're the wrong way round on the new caliper too what I need so there we go so that's it for today you join me back on another day um, I've just received my second brake caliber this time from MX5 parts so I'm sure this one will be correct and I also ordered some of the slide pins and the banjo bolt as well and we also have Ollie back fresh from Barry Island oh what's the curling I'm back from <laughs> Barry Island so he's gonna get it Get it done as quickly as you can because it's getting quite late. So, and unfortunately, our cameraman um, is not very well today. So, we will be doing this video solo. Duo. Duo. <laughs> Just pop the new top slide pin into the top of here. I haven't talked it up. I'll do that whilst it's in the car, and I'm just going to put some red rubber grease. So I've got this like brake bleed kit, which is like a one man kit because Ollie doesn't like to help. Occasionally help. So I'll pop that on the old, on the bleed nipple and you're laughing at nipple. Three nipples are funny, dear. <laughs> so it's going to loosen off the nipple. Like so. There you go. And now, with the brake reservoir lid on, I'm just going to pump the brake a bit. So I've got my foot on the brake so Rob can torque up the wheel bolts on his new spacers. Well, I'm doing these up to the same specs as the wheels. So the wheels are back on, so you need to now drop it back onto the floor, talk up the wheels and then see if we're happy with the fitment I guess. So I have just jacked up the car, a couple of Axtell stands underneath and that's how I just take the wheels off, put it aside and stick the spacers on and my cameraman is having dinner. Got 20 mil spacers for the back as well. So I should have popped them on. I'll just take off the wheels. Oh, 
Now we know we've got the clearance, I can just put these on properly. Pull over covers for the back as well. So I'm gonna pop them on. Everything is now talked up. Um, coil over covers are on on both sides. So I'm just gonna pop the wheels back on, uh, load the car back down, and then check the fitment, see if we're happy, and then we'll be done. So guys, thanks for watching again. Hopefully this helps if you buy used coilovers and you need to adjust them or if your brake caliper seizes like Rob's does, then uh, you can, you know, not to buy from Euro car parts. So, uh, that's, that's a free tip you can take away today. So yeah, if you've enjoyed this, or you're liking our content, we've got plenty of other videos up. Um, make sure you like and subscribe. Keep, you know, where we're going with the MX-5 and Ollie's rust bucket. It's not rusty. But, but like <laughs> and subscribe.